Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. Today I'm going to talk about a website called DistroWatch. It's been around for a long time, perhaps a couple of decades, I'm not exactly sure. And the website that logs progress and news about uh, different Linux distributions. So I have Firefox open and I have it open to that web page already. So let's go to it. And this is the website. Now I know it kind of looks old fashioned. It looks like something from the 90s, but it's a good website and a lot of people go to it. So number one, a lot of people look at it for their ranking. So for instance, on the far right here, uh, they have number one, MX Linux. Now MX Linux has been number one on their list for a couple of years maybe longer and I did a video on MX Linux the other day and, it, and if you're interested you could watch it and um, I was really impressed with MX Linux more impressed with it than I have been in the past when I've tested it out and it is a very good distribution whether it truly is number one that I don't know and I think it all comes down to a matter of taste um, now what this ranking really is, it's about the number of hits that this particular website, DistroWatch, gets. Because it's not really logging how many people are actually downloading the ISOs for these distributions and how many people are using the distribution long term. All it's logging is the number of hits that people are clicking on for the particular distribution on this website but it's still interesting to know and MX Linux whether or not it truly is number one I don't know but it is a very popular distribution and of course you have Endeavor Mint at number three and Mint is also very popular so is Manjaro and Pop OS and Fedora and so forth um, if you go down they have Oops, I'm going pretty fast. They have a hundred here, a hundred different distrib Linux distributions, and I think there's probably more, but some of them have not made it onto the list. But this is interesting, and it's a good resource. It's a good place to go if you're deciding which Linux distribution to download and install and use, or which ones to experiment with. Also, they have a lot of good news here, uh, distribution release. Here they announce the news and they keep it up to date. They announce new distributions or when a distribution gets a new update. It's announced here and there's lots of news you can get here. Also, on the far uh, left of the screen, they have a list of latest distributions. So you can see like number three would be Archman, Robo Linux, some of these I never heard of, but you can click them on. And of course, let's see Robo Linux. You could click it on and it's going to give you more information about it. It's going to tell you about what it's about, what desktops they offer. Like this one has the Cinnamon, Mate, XFCE, uh, categories for beginners, it's probably easy to use. You can read more about it down here. You can see the releases. Now, um, also further on down, for instance, they have latest packages. So here, they're going to show on uh, January the 8th, Nautilus. Now, Nautilus is a file manager, and they're showing that Nautilus had an update to 43.2 in on January the 8th, which is today, by the way. Um, Linux put out a new kernel yesterday on January the 7th. Uh, Linux kernel.org put out a new kernel, a new stable kernel yesterday. Uh, Evolution was updated on January 6th and so forth. They go, to go down here to January 4th and Firefox was updated to 108.0.2. So this is just a uh, fantastic website for 
and resource for learning more about Linux and finding out what's going on in the Linux world. So this was just a short video to introduce people to the DistroWatch webpage. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am the Linux Mitch.